Just got back from uh, Lotte Mart. Picked up a few things. Some perishables. Juice. I got some bananas. I got some grapes. One thing about uh, things like bananas and apples, they're not so bad. They're actually a little bit cheap. But if you want to get grapes or raisins, and especially walnuts, for some reason, those are very expensive. Um, I got my cornflakes, I got my crackers, I got my usual. More importantly, I got these uh, sasami stick cookies for Sam because we're teaching her some tricks and uh, this is the weapon of choice. Okay everybody, so let me show you my new bike. So as you can see, it has the front and rear dual suspension. I've got 18 gears. Got me a little bell here. And you shift gears just by switching those. Brakes are fine. I had the, uh, the guy tighten them before I rode out of there. It's my lock. And this is for if my handlebar, you know, if I need to raise it up or if I need to uh, straighten it. Um, you just turn this up like this and then you can loosen it and then you can do whatever you need to do. Seat is nice and comfortable. Got the shocks in the back. Pretty decent bike. It cost me 70,000 won. Um, that's about 55 US dollars in today's market. Not too bad. So I came across this clock and I ended up buying that hook that it's hanging on. So that's above, you know, my calendar and to the left. But what that reminded me of is something called Conglish because I had a very interesting time reading the English part of its instructions. So right here I have a few essays that I assigned for extra homework from my students. Why don't we have Conglish hour with Mr. ESL? So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the term Kanglish, it's the combination of Korean and English. It's kind of like the Korean flavor of broken English. So a lot of words get mixed up um, and the meaning um, is misinterpreted. For example, when I first got to my site here in um, Chonan, my manager asked me if they, they, he goes, are you good at making kids funny? I assumed that he meant um, if I was good at making them laugh, but um, actually in Korea, people tend to mix the word funny up with fun. So he was asking me if I was able or if I was good at um, making the kids have a good time or making them have fun. But I thought he meant you know if I was able to make them laugh. I guess it's similar in its practical meaning, but. Um, let me read something for you really quick. This is um, an extra homework assignment. The question was, if you were a teacher, what would you teach? So let's see what uh, Amy has to say. If I was a teacher, I'd teach physical. Because physical is very, very funny. And exciting. So I like it. I teach funny. And often play game. I enjoy my students. Other is music. I don't sing well, but music also cheerful. And it goes on for a little bit. Um, I think she means physical education, and it's very, very fun. Uh, I don't think she means funny. Uh, let's see what Peter wrote here. I want to teach children about social. I think so, teach. A lot of children is too hard because sometimes children's 
are play, but I am call them and teach about in the study time. If I teach a Korean and social, I am happy because that subject is I teach them, I learn too. But English is some hard. Some children's are not happy because some isn't the R is only speaking English so I want to teach a funny and sometimes speak Korean and it goes on for for a while um, so as you can see I mean this is obviously these kids obviously aren't like I don't know, college level or high school level even but you can hear some of the terminology, like we would say social studies and they call it social, we would say physical education, they call it physical, um, you hear the word funny being used incorrectly, and some of the articles too, if you ever, um, if you're in Korea and you come across someone who speaks English, um, there's a decent chance that if this person isn't some sort of language enthusiast, that you might come across a lot of Konglish and you know if you look at the context of the situation of course it'll make sense even you know that even though it sounds funny you'd be able to figure it out however um, some things you know um, are just too I guess Korean style um, of English for I guess most foreigners to um, interpret the right meaning from this year got a lot of sleep Break them all some, break them all some. <laughs> <laughs>